what's up everyone uh today just wanted to um do a quick review on the um ugas versus spence fight i just want to let you guys know at the beginning of the fight um i just kind of noticed how big uh ugas was and um and kind of saw how he was kind of pushing um uh errol spence away and kind of um outman him in terms of power he looked like the bigger guy um and it just dawned on me that I think that was the only time uh, Errol Spence had fought someone that was, um, I think, bigger than him. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, though. Um, and at the beginning of the fight, he kind of just pushed him away, uh, touched him a little bit more than he was kind of just hitting uh, his guard. And there wasn't any really clean shots uh, landed on, um, on Ugas. And for a while, after the first, I think it was the first round, I kind of said, man, um, if that's all Errol Spence is gonna do, it, it doesn't look good from here. And I think the first two two rounds, first two, three rounds, I had him going Ugas this way. And um, I think the, uh, the way they scored the card was in favor of Spence, which I didn't agree with. And then in the later rounds, yes, I do agree that that Ugas just stopped fighting around the fourth round. Um, it just he just he seemed to slow down. He was just waiting forever, and, and that was typical of Ugas. I've kind of seen him do that um, when I saw the Sean Porter fight. He just throws so little, and he would just uh, crunch up that, like that in front of the. Um, he would just go really close and crunch up, and then I'm I'm thinking, how does he? How did he throw a punch if your hands are up here? Because you have to go down. And um, I just saw that style was not going to work at all for um, for Ugas. Um, and I guess what I'm trying to get at is um, I don't know if it was necessarily an amazing performance by by Errol Spence, but rather a um, a lack of performance by Ugas because um, y you could argue that if Ugas would have thrown more punches, it would have made an interesting fight. And the fact that he kind of dazed him, well, it was, that shouldn't even count. We shouldn't even talk about the uh, Errol Spence being hit because it was a low blow or um, I was a distracted um, event, I guess we could say. But um, if if this was a uh, if this was a guy that had Ugas's uh, body was more active, it looked like uh, Spence would have had a lot of problems. Um, he didn't look like he brought a lot. Um, the only thing that kind of helped the the um, the fight or or Spence was the fact that Ugas put him, put his face right there in the middle of. Um, of Spence for him to hit all day so Spence just kind of just kept on going and going and going until he finally worked his his hands in there and and started touching him and um and eventually just uh damaged the guy and um but in terms of tactics it really took away a lot from the fight because um nothing taken away from Spence but it's just Ugas was so basic um, in that fight. Um, and I don't know if that's because of Spence, of the pressure Spence added coming up forward to him, coming up so close to him and just looking for the fight. But it did make me realize something. I think I think uh, Jerron Ennis, uh, Jerron Ennis is a big guy and um, he can fight and he is a little bit versatile and he does move forward. And he throws his hands a lot more than than Ugas, and which leads me to believe that um, that um, I see uh, Errol Spence, I see Errol Spence giving those. I think that that being a good fight. I don't know if Ugas was a fair fight, but it was kind of <clears throat> it was a, it was a good measuring stick uh, for how uh, Errol Spence would perform against um, a bigger guy of his size. And he doesn't look um, overly um, 
dominating against someone his size. The orbital bone and the damaged rib that I'm reading now um, is probably due to the fact that the guy was not defending himself. And I think that wouldn't be the case if someone like um, Terrence Crawford or um, or um, of those high levels is going to actually be hitting uh, Spence and distracting him, and it's gonna there's gonna kind of be a 50 50 fight where, where Ugas was not a 50 50 fight, but it did give us an idea of how how he how, how Spence is not gonna have the the size factor in his advantage. Um, and um, but it did show us that 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 Spence is able to damage a bigger guy and he still carries that strength. Um, but Terrence Crawford is not going to be as accessible as uh, Ugas is. But with that being said, I, I just I just think um, I don't really see Spence having an advantage, and that's kind of a cool thing because it isn't it isn't, but because I don't really see um, uh, uh, Jerron in his boots being given a chance to fight uh, any of those guys. Uh, anytime soon, I think I just read a, um, I saw a video where uh, Danny Garcia is being um, being questioned about um, about Boots, and he says that that you know that Boots has his own um, uh, future that he has to pursue, and then that and that um, that he's going to pursue his own uh, being that being um, Danny Garcia. So he, he pretty much says, I don't want any of that. Um, and look, guys, boxing is all about fighting who you can beat and um, and not taking the most damage. Uh, sometimes we forget that and um, and we become fans of a guy and, and we just kind of jump on the bandwagon. And um, when, when things start slowing down for boxing, that means there's a lot of competition and no one wants to fight each other. Um, uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to start getting ugly again, and we're going to start complaining really, really soon. Because unless, unless, um, unless, uh, who is it? Um, unless Terrence Crawford and uh, Errol Spence um, become uh, have a uh, have a trilogy. I mean, who are they going to fight? It makes you wonder. Um, also, in terms of Errol Spence moving up in weight and going to 154, this was a really good example of how he's gonna fare in that weight division. And I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna do. I don't think he's gonna do bad. But I just don't see him having an edge in that division. I don't see that power moving up. I don't see his pressure is good. Um, I actually see him just kind of within the Charlo brothers. A level and he's gonna be the top tier one of the top tier guys up there um, but I I see him getting I, I see him um, getting into a uh, a tie with some of those guys he's kind of just leveling out um, I don't really see I don't really see him going over there and just uh, whooping on everybody and it's Lonnie's Lada. He never freaking. He, he he's he's kind of like a touch move type guy. I don't see him. I see actually Errol Spence beating him by a short margin, but beating him. Um, and uh, but just just the size factor. I don't see him carrying a lot of strength over into that division. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm interested to seeing what. Terrence Crawford does. I mean, boxing is going to get really good because of one thing. Um, I'm interested in seeing what happens after that uh, Terrence Crawford uh, Spence fight. If they don't fight, or if they do fight, it's good for boxing. And and what's also good for boxing is if one of them loses and they rematch. If they don't rematch, then we're going to either see uh, Spence or we're going to see some reruns. Um, and we're going to see boxing show us some um, old familiar faces uh, that we don't want to see. Uh, that being uh, Danny Garcia, uh, also being Keith Thurman. These are fighters that we've already seen. Um, they've already given it their all. Uh, it looks like they've uh, had a few decent paydays, but 
um, it's also evident that they're not willing to be um, uh, because boots boots is coming up they're not going to be a um, a measuring stick just like uh, Sean Porter didn't want to be he wanted to take the Terrence Crawford fight because it was a big fight but he wasn't going to be a measuring stick to a um, um, a boots because he doesn't carry the dollar figures with him um, and uh, that that's the, that's the same case for uh, Danny Garcia he's he's he also sees himself not making a lot of money with that fight and just taking on a beating um, and all this does is it um, they're probably trying to um, uh, how would I say um, just kind of milk it, um, get some easy fights on the way out. And and that's just, and then it looks like Virgil Ortiz doesn't really um, seem to be that easy fight either. Uh, Virgil Ortiz is right up there. Um, Virgil Ortiz and Boots are not going to be guys. I mean, I really kind of see these guys just quitting and retiring. Um, even... Um, uh, even even Spence and... Um, even Spence and, Spence and Terrence Crawford may go to 154 to escape Boots and Virgil. But um, this is what's going to make boxing good if they fight any of these guys. If uh, any of them have a uh, rematch, this is going to make boxing good. If they have a rematch or fight with, Boot, with, with the loser of Spence Crawford by either, um, e either Boots... Um, or Virgil, that's good for boxing. But if they don't, Virgil and uh, Virgil and Boots are big enough to go to chase him down to 154. Uh, so I don't know what they're running. And this is what kills boxing, because um, now if Spence retired, I would understand. Uh, he'd been through a lot, and I would just understand that. Now um, I could also see Terence Crawford retiring. Because you saw what the huge body um, advantage um, did to Spence, it, it, you saw the force that it, uh, the, the force that was imposed over Spence. The only reason Ugas didn't beat Spence was because his technical ability to fight wasn't there. Uh, you could see that there's levels to this, and it was um, it was the the technical side that um, did not allow. Um, Ugas to win but if Ugas threw more and was a sharper fighter I I think um, I think like let's say if Terrence Crawford fights uh, Errol Spence uh, but with Ugas's body I think he wins easily I think easily um, but since uh, Terrence Crawford doesn't have that big frame and he's a little smaller I think it's I think it's in Spence's favor slightly, and then, um, uh, and then I also see it in favor of um, Terence Crawford because Terence Crawford can make it a points fight, uh, and if he makes it a points fight, then it doesn't matter the size of the guy. He can touch and run, touch, touch, run, touch, run, kind of like Floyd does, and we'll get one of those boring fights and a winner. And um, and then we'll see what the P. Uh, well, we'll see what boxing gives us. I was gonna say PBC, but uh, Terence Crawford isn't with PBC. But he would probably have to sign with PBC because they're gonna secure um, the winner of the two, and they want to be they want it to be them. So um, that's that. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, it looks like we're gonna get Terence um, Terence Crawford versus Spence or not um, uh, because at the end of the day you know they don't have to put it together and um, even though Spence already called out and said he was gonna fight Crawford we've seen this happen before in boxing guys um, but hopefully it does hopefully it does and uh, boxing gets an interesting fight um, and uh, we see what happens from there but um, I wouldn't say that that Spence was exposed, but it gives us an idea of, of um, how he handles size, and it wasn't very well. Um, 
I don't want to, I, I, uh, for a lot of people out there, I don't want to say that I'm talking bad about it. I'm just seeing that he doesn't look, he just doesn't look dominating with a bigger guy there. Um, um, and uh, y'all could argue that I'm crazy and it's probably true because he did damage the guy's eye. But I think that was due to the fact that the guy just didn't have, um, was just putting his face and a high guard up there. And then, you know, all Boots was like, I mean, I'm sorry, Boots Spence had to do is just, you know, um, hit him with some, some side shots, uppercuts, and he was just, I mean, the guy, he did nothing else. I mean, he was just a, literally a punching bag. Um, and it was sad to see because this is what boxing is giving us. And, um, uh, and and this I think I think I think it all it says is that that's that's the type of beating that um I think um Manny Pacquiao would have been beat even worse um but uh, it is what it is um and let's see what the Terence Crawford fight gives us if if it, if it gets made but uh, other than that that's it for this video guys let me know what you guys think uh, let me know if you guys think that um that um, Spence has trouble with boots. Um, uh, let me, tell me what you guys think about uh, Terrence, um, Errol Spence's power. Uh, he does um, run the risk of damaging uh, Terrence Crawford uh, because of that, that strength. I see that happening too. Um, um, I, I, I kind of see that, um, but but let's see what happens. Um, let me let me know if y'all think uh, Boots beats Spence. I think kind of that size advantage. Uh, I can see Boots beating Spence uh, and pretty easily. Um, I think he would he would edge him. Um, um, but that those are my thoughts. And we haven't seen a lot of, uh, of boots, um, but that's just me just kind of guessing, guys. That's just guessing. That's just kind of the eye test and what I see. I'm not a professional. Um, um, like some of these guys that are breaking down fights, that's really cool. Um, but this is me just guessing and, and kind of um, eyeballing it. But that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.